So this video, I'm going to show you how to correctly glue dip your eyelash extension. And, you know, there is no right or wrong way to this really, as long as you're picking up the correct amount. But I'm going to show you how I go about doing it, um, what works for me, and, you know, go and have a go at it and see if it works for you. So, here we go. Now, one important thing is, it doesn't matter whether you work off a glue ring or a jade stone, but always put a little bit of micropore or paper tape on your surface because it will hold your glue in a ball. If your glue goes flat and sort of disperses, it's not great. You want this to be in a nice little dome because the area that we want to go into is right at the top of this dome. Avoid everywhere else like the plague. Go right in the top of your glue at the dome because this is where it stays the wet and the thinnest consistency and this is the bit that we want, okay? So this is what we're going to do. Go into the top of our glue. So bring in my lash, I'm going to go into my top of my glue and for a seamless amount I'm only going to go in one millimetre and I'm going to come out really solely. And you can see that I have got a seamless amount of glue on there. So if my lashing environment is correct, humidity and temperature is correct, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch one of my videos, then that really is the only, was the perfect amount of glue that you need, a seamless amount. And we achieved that, like I said, by going in slowly by one millimetre and coming out slowly. Because that slow drag out of the glue, it draws, it like sucks that adhesive off that lash. So that is almost like number one, perfect amount of adhesive. So we could call that like glue dip in one. Maybe we could do like glue dip in two, where maybe we need to grab a little bit more, maybe we had a little bit more of an oily client, or um, our humidity was a little bit high in our salon, or it was a little bit high outside in the weather, so you knew your client's lashes weren't gonna last that long, or she was going on holiday, or she's a swimmer, and we need to use a little bit more glue. So we're going to go in exactly the same, just one millimetre into the adhesive, and we're going to come out a little bit quicker. And you can see how that has grabbed me a little blob of glue. Just a tiny little blob, so that when we place that onto the natural lash, we can either do a little shimmy, a little rub, or it will just naturally disperse when we go onto the client. So to recap, in a little bit, out a little bit quicker, and we've got ourselves a little blob of glue. So that was glue dipping too. Now this one is technically incorrect because you're going to be grabbing a lot of glue and actually I see my beginners especially do this all the time because they get a little bit confident and a little bit happy with their glue dipping as the day goes on and they try and speed things up a little bit so they go into their glue and then they go Pew! and they come out really quickly and they've grabbed this massive blob of glue. Now I bet you I could actually disperse this onto a natural lash and look very seamless but it's technically incorrect. There is too much glue going on there. Look, you can see that big ugly blob going on. We don't really want that on the natural lash because it is gonna overload it. But what happened was we came out really quickly and we've got ourselves an even bigger blob. If that does happen, just go back in your adhesive and do a slow drag outwards and you can see that it's come off. So really, you don't wanna be dabbing. You will see on a lot of, um, pictures that people do they'll have like a blob of glue and then they'll be like dabbing on the ipad and do you know what there's a lot of my old videos on youtube from years ago and i've left them on there before i was a trainer because they've got so many hits on them and they did you know people really like them so i've kind of left them on there um probably a bit bad really because people are going to be like oh my god she's teaching these really outdated techniques but i was a serial what i call blobber or a dabber Luckily, I've managed to get away from that now, and I don't blob or dab anymore. But yeah, because, you know, if you do grab that blob, like I've done there, just go back in and come out very slowly, like so, to grab yourself that seamless amount. Okay, I've got a little bit on there, but you can see how, by grabbing that blob, by going back in, I can get rid of it. But the key is to make sure that you're not grabbing that, that you're always controlled with your your dip in so that you do come out you know grabbing the seamless amount like that so there are three techniques two are good one is bad um but just showing you how i go about doing it so go away and have a play like i said it's just my technique but you know it might work for you so um go and have a go at it